This is episode 97 of Zen and the Art of Real Estate Investing with my guest, Aaron Beal. Aaron is one of the owners of Murphy Home Buyers and a pretty avid flipper right now. You've done over, I think, 200 flips, acquiring about 10 homes a month in San Antonio. Aaron, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to you and talk about your journey because you've only been in it for about five years in real estate, right? Yeah, uh, I kind of started the end of, um, I guess, 2018, and then you know, has slowly ramped up in 19 and kind of just been building since then. So sometimes it seems like forever. Sometimes it seems like <laughs> I just started, which I'm sure people can uh, relate to. Yeah. What what led you to real estate? I mean, what was the thing that really tipped you off? Was like, ooh, I, I want to do this now. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, I mean, not like a super... Uh, you know, original story, but kind of stumbled upon bigger pockets and that kind of aligned with um, me having a corporate job I didn't love uh, and kind of a very like, so I worked in oil and gas. So very like old school industry where yeah. um, you know, I was often told like, hey, you're a really good performer, but like essentially like you're not old enough. And I'm just like, cool, well, I can't get older faster. So um, having a job that I didn't really love and then that kind of coincided with, you know, um, learning about you know, stuff through bigger pockets. And, um, I always tell people that like, I thought like I kind of came up with this idea of like, like in my head, I was like, I just could buy a, one new house every year and like move into a new place and, you know, get it to like pay the mortgage. Or at that time I was like, even if it almost pays the mortgage, that's probably good. And then, um, someone introduced me to bigger pockets and I realized like this idea that I thought I came up with, there were people doing it and my criteria <laughs> for like it almost paying, paying the mortgage probably wasn't the best idea. So, <laughs> um, so early on, I just kind of became that person that was like obsessed with like every Thursday, that new episode coming out, like, you know, Oh, what's what this week, this is the greatest strategy ever, you know, all these <laughs> things. So, um, and then eventually just kind of got fed up with my old job and, you know, quit in, uh, I think early 2019. Um, did the agent thing for a while, really wanted to get more into the investing side, but didn't really know how or what that looked like. And then kind yeah. of just like figured it out over time and stumbled my way to, to today. Is that when you sought out coaching? Cause I know you've been through, uh, coaching with Ryan Dossie and his program and also with my, my guys, uh, Mike and Dana collecting keys. Yeah. So where did that play a role in your journey? Cause I think that's important for everybody to know, like when you got into it, when it's worth spending money and what the return is based on how you used it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Great question. So, yeah. So I started with Ryan's program, probably, um, it was like late 2019. Um, and for me, it wasn't like, I don't know. I was just like, oh, does mail work? And I was just kind of looking into different marketing strategies and then yeah. came across Ryan and just really, um, kind of vibed with how he ran a business. Like, you know, cause I was used to all of this, like, I mean, wholesalers are still sketchy. Like, that's not a secret. Uh, but, never uh, will not be a thing. <laughs> exactly. But it was always this thing of like, which I think this is kind of like past, but it was always like, oh, like, put like this number on the mail and then like, don't tell anyone who you are. And then like route it yeah. through like four different channels. And like, they only find out if you want them to, you know, like. Right. It would do everything like, to not establish any trust, you know, the yeah, linchpin exactly. of real and, estate. <laughs> and then like I heard kind of what Ryan was doing and had this like idea in my head again of like, oh, I feel like, you know, like, how do you do this and be ethical? How do you do this and like build a brand and like actually go about that and not just like be this like weird, like mystery person trying to buy yeah. houses like. Yeah. So I kind of connected with that and then got started with his um, you know, program. And that's where I met Mike and Dan. Cause they kind of joined at the same time. And, yeah. you know, I met a, a ton of good people there and I guess just really liked, you know, that community. And I think it's a thing of, um, as far as like coaching or masterminds, like there's good, there's bad. Like I've done ones I wouldn't do again. I've, you know, spent money on ones that are completely worth it. But I think it's a thing of, um, you know, paying for speed, paying for someone who's been there before, like, you know, paying to not have to learn, you know, not to pay for all your mistakes on your own. So, right. um, I mean, I know people have mixed opinions and 
especially in the bigger pockets community, it seems like people are like, oh, you can get everything on YouTube. And it's like, you can, but will you? Do you think that, hey, like we're really locals has really helped you guys? Yeah. So, I mean, that's always been, um, you know, a big thing for us. Uh, I mean, I've toyed with some of the virtual stuff or even locally, if, you know, if we stop running appointments, if we go virtual, but um, we, we do everything in person. Like we're always going to look at the houses unless they're a few hours away, then we'll, you yeah. know, kind of, we'll like screen it a little more, but um, we're big on being like local. Like we actually, like if we contract it, we close it. We, we don't like try to get something too high and see if we can wholesale. Like we're pretty much like if we contract it, unless there's a title issue, like it's, it's getting to closing, um, yeah. which has been our approach from day one, you know, whether we wholesale it, flip it, whatever, like if we contract it, we're good for it sort of thing. Um, and those are all things that we really like use to build trust with, with our sellers. Like, Hey, we're local, like open door might give you more money, but like, if anything happens, you know, they also disappear and don't care about people, you know, like, you know, yeah, where to find, they right? don't so, care about you at all. You've become pretty proficient at, at flipping mobile homes. I wanted to talk to you about that because I guess most people generally wouldn't think there's like enough scale in that just because they're not super expensive. So explain how that became something that you guys became good at and like, yeah, what's the return on it versus the time put in? Yeah, for sure. So, um, with like flipping or anything in general, I feel like um, when people ask what we do, I'm like, I don't know. We just buy houses. Like we're we're opportunistic. Like we flip sometimes, we wholesale sometimes, whatever. Um, and that's very bit much been their approach with mobile homes too. Of um, honestly, it was something I started looking into because I was mailing here, and the response rates are like complete garbage because we're we're a huge city. And I would go look at a house, and the, like I had a lady one time tell me like oh, well, you're one of, um, you know, 35 people coming to look at the house in the next two days. Exactly. I've, booked, I've booked appointments 30 minutes apart for the next. And then like, I make her an offer and she's like, well, I have, you know, 25 contracts. Uh, 12 of them are on the state form, like the Trek form. And then the other, you know, 13 are all their own forms. And they range from, you know, 100 grand to 200 grand. And all the terms are different. I have no idea what I'm looking at. So like, with just kind of general mail here, at least, that was kind of like, I mean, that's an extreme example, but that's kind of like what you're working 